Support WrestleTalk! Visit WrestleTalk.com Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News, I'm Ollie Davis. Obligatory visit WrestleTalk.com plug at start of video. I was meant to change the word. Well, last night sure was more rumble than ever, with both the men's and first ever women's Royal Rumble matches taking place. Oddly, however, the pay-per-view closing angle and biggest mainstream talking points coming out of the show was a WWE debut not in either Rumble match. The Jacket, Ronda Rousey joining WWE. If you were taken aback by Ronda's rather large coat during her Asuka stare down, there's actually a heartwarming wrestling reason behind it. As ESPN's Ramona Shelburne pointed out, the jacket Ronda Rousey is wearing at the Royal Rumble was Rowdy Roddy Piper's jacket. His son gave it to her beforehand. And Ronda's Rowdy jacket wasn't the only thing keeping her WWE appearance under wraps. Segway. As both her and the company went to great lengths to cover up the surprise. As of Saturday, Ronda was actually in Colombia shooting the action movie Mile 22 with Mark Wahlberg, even posting photos on location over the weekend. So to get from its capital city of Bogota to Philadelphia unseen, she chartered a private jet while her usual entourage remained in Colombia and her husband Travis Brown stayed home in case anyone was recognised. She then basically stayed out of sight for 24 hours. Ronda revealed she's been undergoing wrestling training at WWE for the last several months, travelling down to the Performance Center at weekends. But what's in store for Rousey's future? ESPN first broke the news tweeting, UFC's Ronda Rousey has signed a full-time contract with WWE. But what does full-time in WWE mean these days? Is that weekend? in, week out, house shows and all. The occasional pay-per-view and raw like Brock Lesnar, wrestle and retire on a yearly basis, Undertaker style, or get every other Tuesday off for bath time like Randy Orton. Ronda didn't fully reveal how often she'll be appearing on WWE from now on, but she certainly seemed serious about the multi-year commitment when talking to ESPN. This is my life now. First priority on my timeline for the next several years. This is not a smash and grab, this is not a publicity stunt. When I first met with Triple H, I told him there are other things I can do with my time that'll make way more money, but I won't enjoy nearly as much. Now that I realize I really do have this opportunity, I feel like my six-year-old self would totally kick my ass if I didn't take it. So with Rousey joining WWE now fully confirmed, after months and months of rumors and reports, the next question is, who's going to be her first feud? There are currently two Two conflicting reports. PW Insider claims Rousey will challenge Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania, while Asuka will face Alexa Bliss for Raws. The Wrestling Observer, however, are reporting the current plan for Ronda Rousey's WWE debut at WrestleMania looks to be a tag team match against Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. Apparently WWE are desperately trying to get Rock the Dwayne Johnson to be Ronda's tag partner, but his various movie commitments and the insurance policies studios take out on him in case of injury is preventing him from wrestling a full match. WWE had previously tried to make the Rock and Rousey connection versus Stephanie and Triple H match happen at WrestleMania 31. Watch my review of WWE's Royal Rumble. Click the screen now for more great wrestling videos.